Hello everybody and welcome back to Street Channels episode 5. Today we have come to Moorgate Station and we've only come here really just to explore the area a tiny bit and we're going to move towards sort of more Covent Garden area, more uh, Chinatown as it begins to get darker. It gets dark around 3.30 now so we haven't really got much time and much available light but the whole point of this exercise is to try and see what we can get in low light conditions. And the three main things we're looking for today are reflections, artificial lighting and silhouettes. So hopefully by the time it gets dark this evening all those things combine and including all this rain it creates a really nice ambient street photograph. We'll be using the uh, Fujifilm X100F and on top of it I've got my GoPro to get some point of view uh, sort of action cam footage so let's get on with it. So another thing about creating really good street photographs is to have that confidence to go up to people and you might feel a little bit guilty at first about taking people's pictures without them knowing but it can create some really nice moody images because you get that sort of genuine expression of somebody just going about their daily business. So behind me I've noticed a guy sitting in one of these sort of Christmassy plastic bubble things and I want to try and get a photo of him having a coffee uh, whilst all this rain is going on and hopefully there's some raindrops on the thing uh, and they'll be back illuminated because the lights are inside. So. Hopefully, that should be a good image. So I'm going to go try and take that now without him realising. So one of the good things about shooting in the city is that you get all these buildings that are really new and made of glass. So you get a lot of like reflections, a lot of lights on the inside, and we're going to try and use that today to our advantage. So one of the things about having a lav mic is that I can now walk away from the camera on the other side of the road. So I can be detached. Uh, what I'm doing now is I'm just looking for like reflections in this green building here. And these guys seem to be doing photos of this car, so they don't seem to be very interesting subjects. But somebody walking down the road here, I might be able to just catch them in the opposite side of this reflection here. Now I'm literally just talking to myself. Okay, a little interjection into this video. We uh, stopped filming and now it's just like absolutely chucking it down the rain and like as you can see we're a bit wet so uh, we've got some really good photos in the rain actually um so i'll put those in at the end of the video obviously we're not going to try and film in this because all the microphones and everything will get absolutely soaked so i'll put in the images at the end we're actually like rushing to a tube now because it's getting really bad so thank you for watching and we'll uh, see you in the next bit Again, I have a slight confession to make. I actually recorded the first part of this video on the 8th of December and it is now, as I'm recording this, the 11th of February. So I've been really, really busy. Um, busy is good, but uh, these videos have had to take a slight backseat at the moment. But I promise you that over the summer and over the rest of the year, I will be pushing out more videos uh, as often as I can. It's just at the moment, I've been really busy with my actual job and my uni and everything else in between. Um, I'm going away to New Zealand in just over a month, so hopefully I'll be able to create some pretty cool content whilst I'm over there. But for the meantime, these videos have just had to take a slight backseat, um, but I'm glad I'm being able to push this one out to you now. So as you saw towards the end of the video, it actually started to really chuck it down with rain. And 
the sort of first half of the video I wasn't entirely pleased with. I wasn't entirely pleased with the images that I got. Um, but the moment it started raining and we were in the South Bank area with all those overhead lights, I really managed to get some imagery that stood out to me and it's probably the best imagery of the evening. I feel like this is also quite a good time to talk about the slight pressure I feel when I'm filming these Street Journals videos. I think one of the reasons that I struggle with creating good images that I'm pleased with is because I have you know, I have somebody filming me and I think that can lead to a bit of pressure and sometimes pressure is good and I actually work really well under pressure um, but the moment somebody's like documenting your whole process um, I think that sort of adds another layer to it and I can sort of stumble in that scenario. So, turning off the cameras for a second and just exploring around the South Bank Centre, an area that I know really well, sort of allowed me to be more creative and try some new things. Which leads me on to the two images that I didn't actually show me shooting but were shot during that torrential downpour. So the first image is a slightly more um, fine art image and I think it sort of contrasts quite well with the rest of my street photography throughout that episode. It's of a uh, an overhead street lamp in the food market at the South Bank Centre and because it was really like properly chucking it down with rain you got these like fat blobs of rain um, and they were all lit up by the uh, the street lights. So as before I've got the images on my phone so I can just have a reference whilst I'm talking and I remember when I was editing this photo it took me ages to get the crop right and I really struggled with do I align it in the middle, do I align it to one side um, and I sort of managed to meet it sort of to the left a little bit in the frame. Um, so what I managed to do is have the composition work so because the rain is illuminated it is technically like a big part of the image as opposed to just a street lamp. So the way I've composed it, I think it works. Um, to some people, their brain might think, oh, that's slightly off center, but to me, the image works how I've cropped it. And obviously I massively underexposed this image so I could freeze both the rain, but also retain details in the lamp itself. And I have to say, shooting on the Fujifilm X100F, the detail that it retained in that image is phenomenal. I can't remember what f-stop I shot it at, but if I find, I'll, I'll put it in, the, in a little caption. But honestly, the detail and the clarity that this thing can retain especially in those lighting conditions, is quite remarkable. Um, I know it's not weather sealed, and one of my previous videos of me walking around in the rain that my friend Nico filmed, if you want to check that out, I'll put a link in the description, um, I thought I actually broke this camera, um, because obviously it's not weather sealed and the whole thing fogged up, um, and all my images were coming out a little bit fuzzy, so um, hopefully, well, it's not broken, but uh, yeah, that was a bit of a scary moment for me. And the second image I want to talk about is this image of somebody coming down the stairs at the South Bank Centre with one of the same street lights in the background, but this time I've slightly overexposed it so a lot more of the rain um, can be seen in the image. And the person was carrying a yellow umbrella, which is just backlit and it looks really, really good. And I think just as a dynamic scene, this works really well. And it's possibly one of my favourite images of 2018. Now we've moved into 2019, I'm creating more fresh imagery and I've got a couple of videos coming up about some recent photos that I took. Um, so stay tuned for those. But apart from that, I think I'm going to wrap up this episode here. It's taken me so long to record this. I've only been recording for about six minutes, but literally this is the only time I've ever had to actually record this video and share this with you guys. So thank you very much for watching. Be sure to check out my Instagram and my website. Be sure to subscribe and leave a like and a comment, uh, and I'll see you in the next video.